What now follows is Taranada's definition of the three natures, based on what has been said. The imagined nature is like the sky, etc., like all non-entities. It consists of all object appearances. Such as visible forms appearing to the false imagining, all relations between names and things, which arise by clinging to names as things, and mistaking things for names, and. Every object grasped by superimposing intellect, outside and inside, extremes and middle, big and small, good and bad, space and time. The dependent nature is mere consciousness. Which appears as the subject-object relationship, because it appears by being dependent on something else, viz. the habitual imprints of ignorance. The perfect nature is self-awareness. Clarity in its own right, free from all mental fabrications. It is synonymous with the true nature of phenomena, the sphere of qualities, or dharma datu, suchness, and ultimate truth. Taranata then elaborates the relations between these natures. Neither the imagined nor the dependent exist in reality. They are both deceptive appearances, apparent truths, and false. They need to be distinguished, however, in terms of their respective features. The imagined does not even exist on the level of apparent truth, whereas the dependent does. The imagined exists as mere imputation. The dependent, as mental substance, in a way typical of the Jonan Pass, the perfect nature is taken to not exist on the level of apparent truth, but only on the ultimate level. Taranata must have seen the problems of this statement. And added 
that the perfect nature is also without any mental fabrication. Even without the mental fabrication that the perfect nature does not exist as the imagined or dependent natures. For more information on what Jonan Dharma says about the ultimate reality, please visit our website at jonandharma.org. And if you like our video, Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell.